different, what do you think of the different types of creativity? I, th- I guess we've sort of explored that, but let's break it down just succinctly, I guess, here. What, what do you think of the different types of creativity? Um, so you have, um, you have the most common one, which everybody, which everyone kind of labels as creativity, which is um, artistic expression. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah, so for sure. That, that can fall under even you as like being a chef or, or you know, having knowledge of the, the chef industry, like that still falls under creative expression because you're making something um, and you're presenting it. Like you're, you're showing what you can do and it's tangible and it presents this feeling. Um, there is, there's like, there's analytical type of, creativity yeah um, okay like, yeah what's what, I'm going blank. like people that do um tech or uh engineering you know things along sure. those lines yeah 100 percent. are are creative you have you have uh business-minded people um people like you know jeff bezos or uh you know, any of your millionaires you want to put on the, on the wall, um, they've all, they all created an idea that was like, why didn't I think of that? I mean, some of them didn't even finish college. So, um, there's, there's so many different ways and it's, and you can see it because it's in the area of what hasn't been done before. I think yeah. that's why in the world of artistic expression, it's always exciting because if you go to like a festival or you go to like, I don't know, let's say it's like some, some, something's going on in downtown and you just go and you see all the different things that people create. It's like, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Like, and you're like, how right. do they do that? Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's the most amazing. That can be the most amazing thing about creativity. It's like, where did that come from? You know, how did they think of that? Or how did they even imagine that? Um, yeah. Like when I was, when I was, so music was my first love. I'm not sure if I said this in our last interview or not, but music was my first love. That's what I originally was going to go to school for. I wanted to be a composer and conductor for, for orchestras. Um, so I studied a lot of music pieces and, this is why I fell in love with it and appreciate it so much because when I had to start looking at the sheet music and I saw the things that these great composers, these famous composers like Beethoven or something, um, they created, and you're looking at these tiny little marks on these pages and there it's like hundreds of pages. And that translates to this historical, beautiful piece of music that everybody knows when it plays. Like that is insane to me that you can put dots on a piece of paper and it translates to a sound like yeah. of that, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's incredible. And then there's, there's different ways to write music for different instruments. Yeah. That's just, and you know how smart you have to be to know all that. It's like another language. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's really awesome. So yeah. there's just, there's so many different, um, you know, levels, even people that work on cars. I mean, you just got to know what you're doing. People yeah, that come absolutely. and work on your house and redo your house. And I mean, I like watching them work. I literally love watching them fix holes in walls because that's not something I can do. And I'm just like, wow, that's cool. How you did that. You know, and the best people like, let's say construction or something. I remember seeing this video on Instagram of this guy doing a roof thing and it was like this quick boomerang thing right where he he like oh where he was laying the roof down yeah yeah i know what you're talking about yeah Yeah, i was like what and that's creativity you know you come up with creative ways to you know do do your job better 